friends, happy spring and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelsey and today I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along with me as I decorated our house for spring. I am also going to be showing you how I put my toddler's Easter basket together and then I filmed like doing a little craft with that as well. So I thought that'd be kind of fun to show you guys. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've been on YouTube. I believe it's been since December. So I wanted to come back on here and say hello to everybody and just film a new video. Um, it feels so good outside today at our house. I believe it's like 70 degrees. So I am so excited to be back on here and just showing you guys how I get our house ready for the spring season. But anyways, we'll go ahead and get started on decorating. So real quick, I wanted to show you guys some of the new things that I bought this year for spring. Um, starting off with these really pretty tulips. They're faux tulips. Um, I got these on Amazon and they feel real. They're so pretty. But I just used a um, vase that I got at the thrift store a long time ago. And just put them in there and it's just so pretty. Um, so this is gonna be one of my focal points in the kitchen when I decorate. I found these really cute baking cups at um, Home Goods. They are adorable. They've got little bunnies and carrots. I don't know if you could see that. <sighs> it's just so cute. So I just had to like get these because I love these little things. I found these really cute porcelain bunnies at the Target dollar spot. Um, not sure if that will come into view or not, but I just really like white decor. That's like one of my favorite things. I am totally a pillow person. Um, every season, I love to have different pillows. And I went into the Dollar General the other day and I found these beautiful, um, it's almost like a pale pink um, gingham check pillows and there's like ruffles on the edges. So I thought that these would be so pretty to put on my bench or just somewhere in the house to decorate for spring. I found this pillow at TJ Maxx and it's just a cute little bunny pillow and the back has like a little cotton tail. Um, so I thought that this was adorable. So I'm gonna incorporate this as well. I also found some carrot garland at Hobby Lobby. So I thought this would be cute in our living room, um, on our mantle or something, um, just kind of keep it simple in there. But I picked this up as well. So that is all the new stuff I got this year, but I have tons of stuff that I've gotten in years past that I'm going to incorporate. Um, I like to reuse things every season. So, you know, that way I'm not going out and buying all this brand new stuff um, for Easter. So I have stuff that's dated 10 years back. Like I just love a lot of my decor. Um, so I hold on to it. But yeah, we are going to start decorating now. Um, I think I'm going to do the kitchen and some of the living room and dining room and our entryway. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm going to decorate our house for, for Easter this year. So let's get started. <music>
So I was digging through the totes, getting um, all of my decor out and stuff like that. And I came across this little um, Easter craft that we did with Hayes when he was eight months old. Let's see if it'll pick it up. So cute, his foot was so little, but it's like little things like this that I love. But I also wanted to share with you guys, um, I got this basket from Target and it is the Hearth and Hand brand. Um, and it is so cute. It's got little scallops on it. It's so pretty. But I think I'm going to use this um, for collecting and storing our actual eggs from our chickens on the counter. So I'll probably just put this on the counter somewhere and then when it's time to collect eggs and store them, I'll just put it in this basket for display. Um, and also for use, but I just thought this was so cute and so pretty. And I want to say it was around like $15, so it was really cute. Well, I was really inspired by this green flag that I found at Hobby Lobby. So I went through the store and I actually found some blue um, velvet fabric and some really pretty ribbon and some pom-poms. Um, and I told myself that I was going to make a flag for Hayes' Easter basket. So um, got all the materials and then I have a Cricut Explore Air. It is one of the older ones, um, but it still works good. So anyways, I used that and I cut out some words for the flag and I used iron-on material so that I could just easily iron it on. So now I am just weeding the words and getting all of the excess vinyl off and then after that I'm going to start cutting the fabric and making it the size that I want for the flag. I decided to use some stitch witch on this kind of fabric um, instead of hot glue and it actually worked out pretty easy you basically just have to get it a little bit damp and then you just iron it and then it acts as like glue or something so then after that I ironed on the vinyl and then peeled it off I decided to trim the edges of the flag up just a little bit um, just so it would be a little bit more even and then I had my hot glue gun ready and I took the wooden dowel and just kind of placed it where I thought it would look best. Basically I cut a little slit in the top so that it would poke through and then I hot glued it to secure it in place and then I just trimmed it up from there just to make it look a little bit more put together. I got my pom-pom out and my hot glue gun and put it on the very top of the flag and just secured it. And then after that, I took all of the ribbon and I cut it to the size that I was wanting and basically just tied it around um, the wooden dowel and just secured it in place. I then took the white pom-pom ribbon and slid it onto the dowel and I decided to just hot glue it on the front and on the back to secure it in place. 
Um, I figured this would be easier than trying to tie it on there because it's kind of just a thicker and odd shaped ribbon. Um, and this actually worked out pretty well just using hot glue. And then after that, I just kind of trimmed it up a bit. And yeah, that was how I made a simple little Easter flag that I'm going to poke into Hayes' basket. And I think it turned out really cute and it was really easy to make. Okay, so I just got done making this super cute little flag for Hayes' Easter basket. Um, and now I'm just gonna show you guys real quick all the little things that I picked up for his Easter basket this year. We've kind of already broke into these, but um, I got some bunny snacks and then some bunny gummies um, from Walmart. And then I found a big pack of bubbles at Walmart, so I'm gonna stick some of these in his Easter basket. I went to TJ Maxx and found some little lollipops. Um, a little Easter book and then I got him a puzzle and just some, like watercolor things and then on Amazon I found this like gummy worm and bear kit that you can like make yourself and he loves gummies so I thought this would just be like a fun little activity for us to do one day just to make some gummies or something and at TJ Maxx, I found some Play-Doh little eggs to stick in there. Got him some drink packets. Um, and then at Walmart, I got a little wooden Easter bunny that he can color, or excuse me, paint. Got some little bunny um, fruit strips. Um, just some little Reese pieces that look like a carrot. And then I found just like a couple little bath bombs um, on sale at Walmart. So I'll just go ahead and stick some of these at the bottom as well. And that's pretty much everything I got for him. Um, I didn't realize how many snacks there was, but I'll make it cute and I'll make it work. But I just wanted to kind of film and show you guys just the process of putting together his little Easter basket.
hope that you guys enjoyed watching today's video and I hope that you guys maybe got some inspiration from it. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful Easter with your family. Thank you guys again so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.